just get right. everybody to combine their brackets together. To hopefully Especially win. if you win, it was a yeah. really good idea. Uh, Peyton the Penguin, along with his brothers and sisters, they're growing up fast. The rock opera Penguin Chicks are on display with all the grown-ups at the Henry Dorley Zoo and Aquarium. And guess who else is on the other side of the glass in the display today? Kayla Thomas, how are you? Good morning. Hey guys, how are you doing? I know that you had some kind of an intro for me there, but it got really loud in here because all of a sudden I'm stepping out of the way. All of the baby penguins are congregating right around my feet. This is one of the baby rock hopper penguins here. And then this little guy right back here with the blue band around his wing there, that is the star Peyton the penguin. Um, he was actually just eating my shoelace. So all of these rock hopper chicks that were born around Christmas time, hi buddy. Um, are all on display right now here in the penguin display at the aquarium. They're growing up so fast. And here to tell us a little bit more about them, learn a little bit of penguin facts today is Stephanie Hittner. She's the curator of birds. How are Peyton and his siblings doing? They are doing really well. It was just been now a couple of weeks that they've been in the exhibit. So what we do is we introduce them to the space because we hand raised these guys, meaning they didn't see any other penguins until we brought them in here for the first time. So we had them in a playpen. So guests may have seen this weird looking playpen thing in here. So what happens is we put them in there, then all the birds come up to basically say, hello, welcome to the space. So there's a big greeting period. Then we have to really watch to see how they're gonna do. So we wanna make sure they can get in and out of the water, make sure they're not gonna get picked on by anybody. And once we're comfortable, then we take the playpen out, which we did. So now they're doing fantastically. Um, how are they getting along with the other birds? Because there are several different species of penguins in here. Yeah, they're doing really, really well. What happens is all the different species in here, if you look around, you'll see they kind of hang out in their own little zones. So everyone's kind of got a place where they like to be, and they do really well. The, the chicks especially will be really friendly with the keepers, so they're going to come up to the keepers anytime they come in here. But they blend really well with all the others. And how can you tell apart, because there are maybe a lot of people that are coming here trying to look specifically for Peyton or trying to look for the other chicks. How can they spot those chicks? I'm going to grab one okay. real quick. Oh, and it, it happens to be Mr. Yeah, Peyton himself. It worked out. So if you look, we've got the chicks banded with a little bit different looking band than the other birds in here, so it'll be really bright. So Peyton's got this blue band on the left wing there. The other chicks will have like a bright pink, a bright yellow, and they won't have anything on the other side. So as they mature and when they get their names, which will be the end of the month, we'll band them just like all the other birds. Uh, and I have to right now show you guys how cool Peyton is. I'm going to touch him. He's very smooth. They have just gotten their adult feathers, which is one of the reasons why they could be out of that playpen and around here. Um, you mentioned the names, um, the process people. I, I just saw the slips in the back, and there are stacks of people who have submitted names. When will they get the names, and what makes for a good penguin name? Well, what happens is we take all those recommendations from the public, which is really fun. We get some really creative names, some that are really off the wall, some that are spot on. So what we do first is we like to try and know the gender of the birds. So what we've done is we've had these guys sexed. So now we know we've got four males and one female. Thank goodness Peyton ended up being a male. <laughs> So what we'll do then is we'll gauge those genders on the names that we help select along with any of their behaviors because we know some of them are a little more rowdy than the others. And then what we'll do is March 31st, we'll go ahead and announce all the names of the public. So it'll be really exciting. To get and speaking of, actually I saw rowdy was written on one of the slips. And actually Mary was too, which would actually probably be a very high strung female penguin. <laughs> Two things we want to talk about really quick before we let you go. Sure. Teddy Bear Weekend is coming up. What can people expect from that? Teddy Bear Weekend is a really fun event. And we've got some screens. It's a party in here. <laughs> so what happens is the first weekend of April, any kids ages 3 to 12 that bring this stuffed animal can get into the zoo for free, which is great, and then bring their animal to our animal clinic. So what happens is they go through the whole examination process, just like you would if you would go to the doctor. And then any of those animals that maybe need a little more TLC, go to our emergency room, where our volunteers will stitch them up. Up, add stuffing, put on a new eye if an eye is missing, anything like that. And it's a lot of fun. There's music, there's activities. It's very busy and very fun to come to. And this is a great time for people to get their memberships. Yes, definitely, definitely. March 31st, same when we do the naming announcement for the Penguins. March 31st is when the prices go up for the membership. So renew it before the 30th of March. And all of the information is on the website for all the different pricing packages. All right, um, so we got to talk about the penguins again, because besides the rock hoppers, which is what the penguin chicks are, what are some of the other species that are in here? Sure, if you look right over here, you can see we've got Gentoo penguins, and they look like they're wearing white earmuffs on the top of their heads. Uh -huh. And then back and back behind us, the guys with the yellow ear patches, those are called king penguins. 
And some of these guys might look a little rough in here. We were talking about this. What happens every year is penguins go through something called a catastrophic molt. So they're going to get a whole new set of feathers. It's like getting a brand new outfit. And what kings do is they get that new outfit before breeding season, so they're all handsome and pretty for that. Gen 2s and rock hoppers will do that after they've bred. So you can see they're all done with breeding season. Now they're focused on getting their new garb, so they're all set for the next year. Breeding season, so maybe some more babies soon? You know, if we're really lucky. And every year we do pretty well. This year was kind of a bumper crop for us with the rock hoppers. Very exciting for us to have five, but every year we do pretty well. Awesome. And for people that are curious, talk about the conditions in here, weather-wise, so to speak. Yeah, the keepers that work in this crew are very lucky. They get to deal with winter year-round. So it's about 38 degrees Fahrenheit. You can see there's snow falling in the space. So we've got snow to shovel year-round. Water temperature is also 38 to 40 degrees. So the keepers have the luxury of going swimming in 38 degree water to clean the pool. We also have to clean windows. So it's very labor intensive to be in here. Cold water, cold snow, cold everything. All right, thank you so much for your time, Stephanie. Mike and Mary, I gotta tell you, I have been doing this entire interview. Well, this guy down here, one of Peyton's siblings. Hey buddy, listen to these little birdie noises has been pecking at my leg the entire time. But it feels adorable, soft little peak. It's really cool in here. Once in a lifetime opportunity, people should definitely come down and check out Peyton and his siblings. I know you guys are jealous, but you got good stuff going on in the studio back there. That one penguin got high centered. Did you see that guy? He got high centered, couldn't, he just stuck. It was hilarious. But you know, I was down there on Sunday, Kayla, and we stood, my son loves the penguins, so we stood there for probably a half an hour. The whole time I was thinking, I wonder what it would be like to be in there. That'd be so fun. So I'm jealous <laughs> of this morning. Knows. Thanks, Kayla. I tell you what, it, it's awesome, you guys. It's so much fun. And these, these penguins are so cool, really cool. I wish you could be here, but you're not. So have fun back there. We'll yeah. live vicariously. Thank yeah, you. We'll see you back here. It wasn't too long ago. We used to tell, we used watches, right? Remember, we used right. watches to tell the time. <laughs> right. Now smartphones have taken over that responsibility for most of us. Yeah, now. watches are, though, as much of an expression of style for men, for women, the sought-after brands available at Saul's when we bring it on. I need one. <laughs> You're naked.